हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट एट वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ योर लाइव वेलकम टू अनदर बुक रिव्यू पॉडकास्ट बाय टीम थिंक रिव्यूज द पर्क्स ऑफ बीइंग अ प्रोफेशनल बुक रिव्यूअर दैट टू एसोसिएटेड विद टीम थिंक रिव्यूज इंक्लूड गेटिंग एक्सपोज टू द न्यू टैलेंट्स एंड बुक्स फ्रॉम वेरियस जेनरल वी लव टू एक्सप्लोर सेल्फ हेल्प एंड मोटिवेशनल बुक्स टू actually exploring journey of successful people has many benefits on one hand you get inspired and on the other you learn from his or her experiences so you come to know what to do and what should be avoided and usually successful people love to share their real experiences to guide others as much as possible eventually you learn that this supportive nature and willingness to help others is one of the key attributes that help them achieve what they had it is one of the reasons that we love to watch commencement speeches by prominent figures here are some books of this genre we got a chance to explore recently deepa karmakar the small wonder the ineligible millionaire by tarun varshne Inner Space by Renji Panikkar Balraj by Manoj V Jain Soul Selfie by Sadguru Ramesh ji Make Your Own Luck by Bog Miglani and Rehan Yar Khan Today we are going to talk about Don't Start Up Tagline What No One Tells You About Starting Your Own Business by Kartik Kumar Let us take a look at the cover page of this book. This book is a little different than other books in the same genre, especially in terms of title. Don't start up. These words seem to be shocking when you read them for the first time, and that shock may attract you to go ahead with the tagline and eventually to explore the book. You can see the picture of the author occupying almost half of the cover page, and to reinforce the word don't you can find x made up using band-aids of red color this goes in sync with the book title inspirational books have a scope of a lot of fictional incidents and hypothetical content of course with good intention but when you are writing something based on reality you cannot have that liberty of course some creative liberties are allowed but the most you can do to make it interesting is the way you present it the author has experience in delivering performances on stage and his first act is seen in the title and the cover page of the book the book doesn't formally introduce him and that i think should have been taken care of no doubt he is popular and may not need an introduction for those who already know and follow him but then you are excluding a large number of readers a formal introduction to him and his company evam or evam must have added positive value to the book i found that his official website is www.evamstanduptamasha.in that seems to be in a development for new avatar when i read the book if the site is mentioned in the preface or forward segment it could have been even better The book is written in the simple day-to-day language and I found it a very thoughtful decision. It connects the author and reader quite effortlessly. For any such motivational semi-autobiography, if reader connects with the author emotionally and start thinking, "Oh, I could do this" or "I should have implemented this," then it is the true success of the author. and it seems that kartik has achieved it to a remarkable extent the book is managed in three segments and each of them is referred to as an act there are total of 20 chapters distinguished unevenly in them the beginning of the book starts with the reference of the popular story of batman and bruce wayne It proves that the author knows how to present the things in an interesting manner to hook the reader with the book. His detailed elaboration of bat suit, bat weapons, bat signals, etc., is really interesting. And more importantly, 
he is able to connect all these elements with his journey of creating a successful startup so when you read the need to be batman says a lot about why bruce wayne does what he does consider that in the same way the incidents mentioned are to be linked with the content of the book he gives some interesting tips to the readers throughout the book of course we cannot and must not include all of them to avoid spoilers here is a line that i would like to quote from the book find an idea that you can genuinely contribute to not just in terms of funding but also to the development of otherwise you may just become a ceo of the enterprise where you make all venture decisions but have no control over the product development once this could inhibit your need to be master of your destiny and he explains it with the example of apple yes the company behind mac ipod ipad iphone and others leadership is an essential quality you must have especially if you want to be a successful entrepreneur the author says leadership is a skill that you will have to get better at until you can hire someone better than you it actually gives you a very important message you alone cannot do everything your real skill is in finding the right person for each job the author also focused on having curiosity and attitude to earn knowledge it is better to read the book in his own words he also suggests that taking precautions and doing the things by weighing positives and negatives is a really good thing but one shouldn't wait endlessly some interesting projects often don't get a real body due to such attitude i find the author's elaboration about busy in this at various stages of startup quite interesting the author has included some wisdom lessons too for example the truth will be that one will never have enough money in the startup phase and this will seem like a curse and you will be tempted to look at other businesses peers and marvel at how green the grass on the other manicured lawn the truth is also that in startup phase it's best not to have more than enough funds same same practical advice right well you can read the explanation and reasoning behind these lines in the book and you will find it convincing In addition to importance of team work and other stuff I will suggest you to read the chapter culture with full attention I like the way the culture is defined culture is what people do even when no one is watching especially when no one is watching I will suggest you to not to miss take outs it holds some real gems such books should be considered as self help books and unless and until you act upon them or what you learn from them it is not going to add any value in your own personal journey when you read such books you should have a pen and a paper or a notes related app in your electronic device open you should mark or note what you find important and if you think you can implement it at so and so place in your work or life you should note it immediately often such thoughts keep our mind later so better to keep them consolidated and keep revisiting them as said earlier i want to avoid spoilers as far as possible so just concluding here we bought this book when a book promotion was running so in terms of money it is value for money for us if you want to get notified for interesting book purchase offers You should follow us on various social media. We often shout out such offers. So in summary I can say a book that elaborates some real life lessons from real life experiences. Read it with full attention and try to implement the lessons not for a time pass reading. Think reviews rating would be around 7.5 stars out of 10. So Have you already read the book? Are you planning to read it? What do you think about this book review? Do you find it helpful in deciding whether to go for the book or not? Please do share your genuine remarks via comments below. 
if you have enjoyed listening to the review please hit the like button and do not forget to share it with your friends and other fellows whom you think such reviews interest more till we meet with our next podcast bye bye take care namaskar